Alex is in Kalamazoo. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thanks for having me. Sure. What's up? Uh, so my wife and I are currently on baby step number two. I've taken a new position that requires me to travel um, a lot throughout the area. And my company offers a vehicle reimbursement program uh, to buy a new vehicle. So I went out and bought a brand new vehicle and am currently receiving a monthly stipend from the company to basically pay for the uh, vehicle payment. So the note's in my name, but the company pays me monthly. Uh, I'm wondering if I should just continue to take this payment monthly and put it towards the vehicle or if we should buckle down and pay this vehicle off as fast as possible and just have the company continue to pay me that stipend. Okay. Um, how, how much do you owe on the vehicle? About 38000 Good Lord. And what's your household income? Uh, around $95,000. Okay. And how much, are you, and you said you're married? Yep. And what is the value of your wife's vehicle? Uh, hers is probably about 15000 Okay. All right. And um, and you have thirty-eight thousand dollars in debt on this car. And what other debts do you have, not counting your home? Uh, less than a thousand on a credit card that we're just about to pay off. Uh, her student loans, which are I think right around sixteen or seventeen thousand, uh, and that's it. Okay. All right. A couple of things that that um, broke down here. One is uh, you get a vehicle stipend whether you have a car payment or not. That's how I understood it, is no. that I go out and buy the no, vehicle. No, 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 no. You, you misunderstand. Oh. You, they, they are asking you to use your car for work, and so they are giving you a vehicle stipend. They did not Correct. require you to have a payment in order to get Correct. the vehicle stipend. So if the car were paid off in cash, you would still be getting the stipend. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you connected those two things, though, and used that as an excuse to ridiculously overbuy on car. So are you um are you buy are, are you driving a lot of miles? I am. I am part of the the stipulation for the company to be eligible for the program is the car has to be within 4 model years of being new. Yeah. to be eligible for that yeah. vehicle reimbursement. And you don't think you could do that cheaper than 38,000, huh? Probably do that for about 15,000. If I did that I'd be buying a new vehicle every year or two to stay current. So within that reimbursement true yeah so here's the thing you're about mm -hmm. to turn 38,000 into 8,000 so fast you're gonna blink mm -hmm. because with the miles you're putting on a car you are destroying the value of the car and you're not mm -hmm. only destroying the value of a car you're destroying in your case the value of an expensive car mm -hmm. whatever you drive you're going to destroy its value because of the miles you put on it you're a road warrior and so you're, you know, this is a business transaction. This is not impressing a girl to stoplight. This is a business transaction. And so you want to lose as little money on vehicles that you are destroying their value as possible and still get the mm -hmm. job done. Now, we've got three things that are required for you to get the job done. One is it has to be reliable. Two is you spend a lot of time in the car. It's got to be reasonably comfortable. We're not putting your butt in a smart car. That'd be dumb. Okay, you'd be in the chiropractor's office as much time as you spend in the car. So it's got to be reasonably comfortable. It's got to be reliable. And the company has said it has to be within four model years. And so if I'm in your shoes financially, I'm going to buy a nice little Ford Taurus, Honda, Auto, or Honda Acura, uh, something that gets good gas mileage that is uh, three model years old, and I'm going to roll that puppy once a year. And uh, because you're destroying its value, and I'm going to put all this company money in my pocket as I'm doing that. Because what if you buy a fifteen thousand dollar car a year later, it's worth ten. If you buy a forty thousand dollar car a year later, it's going to be worth twenty because the miles you're putting on it. Go do a little bit of research on your car three years from now with the miles you're putting on it value. Pick up a, your car that you're driving today. What is it? What kind of car? Hello? Hello? Well, I guess that didn't work. Okay. 
sometimes I'm just talking to myself. Open phones at 888-825-5225. So, road warriors, there's their principle. Okay, You are not required to go into debt to take your company's car stipend. And you don't want to do that. That's not a plan. You want to drive the least car possible. And that's you can't drive a hoopty in this situation. Uh, and, and the goal is save up and pay cash for it. The other thing that Alex is violating is that he has more than half his annual income tied up in things with wheels and motors. Things with wheels and motors are the most expensive things we buy as consumers that go down in value. And they all go down in value. Boats, cars, lawn tractors, sea dews four-wheelers, motorcycles, trucks, all go down in value. You don't get rich tying up a large, substantial amount of your money in things that are going the wrong way. So when you make $95,000 a year, you don't need more than $47,000 tied up in things that are going down in value. And he has 10000 more than that. 15 on his wife's car, 37, 38 on his car. And so he's um, $8,000 over that, which tells me so. So basically what happened is, is he, had the op- he, he, he saw this extra income. But, oh, by the way, when your company fires you or you quit because they don't have integrity, that car stipend stops and your car payment doesn't. So they are not paying for your car. They didn't sign the car note. You did. You took all this risk. You're the one taking the butt kicking on this car going down in value while you do your job for them. And they're not giving you enough money to offset that. So, hope that helps you. Stay away from car debt. Stay away from cars. Things with motors and wheels that equal more than half your annual income. And if you get a company stipend by the least, because you're a road warrior, buy the least possible car that will get the job done. Reliable and reasonably comfortable and used. 888-825-5225. 